In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to clone a Bitbucket repository. Cloning a repository from Bitbucket allows you to copy all the contents of a remote repository to your local machine, making it possible for you to work on your projects offline or to collaborate with your team seamlessly. We'll go through this process step by step, ensuring clarity at every stage so you can confidently mirror the repository files over to your own device. First, let's start by getting the clone URL from your Bitbucket account. Begin by logging in to your Bitbucket Cloud account. Once you're logged in, navigate over to the repository that you intend to clone. After selecting your desired repository, you will notice a Clone button, which is typically located on the left sidebar or the top right area of your screen. This button is pivotal as it provides the essential link you need to proceed to the next steps. Now, when you click on the Clone button, You'll be faced with a choice between two protocols, HTTPS or SSH. Here's a quick breakdown of what they each mean and why you might choose one over the other. HTTPS is generally easier to set up and is often the go-to method, especially for those new to cloning or working with private repositories that might require an app password. On the other hand, SSH is considered more secure primarily if you have already configured SSH keys with your Bitbucket account. In today's example, we'll utilize the HTTPS method for simplicity. So, let's move on to cloning the repository using HTTPS through the terminal, aka the command line. Begin by copying the HTTPS link provided after you've clicked Clone. You'll then navigate to your terminal application on your computer. Once there, Type the command git clone, followed by a space, and then paste the HTTPS URL you copied earlier. This URL will typically look something like this. git clone HTTPS Username at bitbucket.org Workspace slash repo git Remember, it's very important that you replace username, workspace, and repo.git with your specific Bitbucket account details. Now, if your repository is private, Bitbucket will prompt you to enter your Bitbucket username, followed by either your password or, if you have two-factor authentication enabled, an app password. This ensures that you have the proper credentials to access and clone the repository files onto your local machine securely. And there you have it. By following these steps carefully, you've successfully cloned a Bitbucket repository onto your local device. You can now access the files locally and make changes as needed. Whether you're coding solo or contributing to a larger team project, having a local clone of your repository makes development more flexible and efficient. Thank you for watching, and happy coding!